I found this article recently. In last week's episode, I talked about photodegradation and the negative impacts that it has on plastics and any waste that is exposed to the sunlight for long periods of time. The same thing happens in freshwater. People from all over the world eat a variety of freshwater species, which means that they're ingesting harmful chemicals, not to mention that especially in a place like Florida, our freshwater lakes and rivers that are connected to our water tables are regularly exposed to trash, unfortunately. And that's where we get our water from, the stuff that we bathe in and drink from. So although I'm not a scientist or anything, I feel like that might be why so many of us humans have health issues nowadays. It's just a theory. According to this article, our trash is reaching places that we don't even know what the effects will be long term. Trash anywhere can leach harmful chemicals into our water. We already have an idea of the effects on marine life in the ocean, and it's not pretty. To get a little tinfoil haddish, most farm animals drink rainwater that can contain these chemicals, which people then consume. Even if the farmers are using a specific water source, there's nothing stopping the animals from drinking rainwater. It's what they do. And even vegetarians and vegans can't avoid something like rainwater contaminating their food source. I don't know, it just seems like a bad time long term. So on top of magnet fishing being fun, I think that it should be a regular thing for people to do who want to go fishing, but maybe they don't want to catch fish. Maybe it can be a new sport or something. It's really fun, and if you like the idea of trying out treasure hunting, then you should definitely try it. And if you see other forms of trash while you're out magnet fishing, why not collect them as well? I'm going to make a bunch of other magnet fishing related videos from different types of vessels to see what I can find. So the end goal for all of these magnet fishing videos is to motivate people all over the world to go magnet fishing and help remove some of the metallic trash that can break down over time and leach into the water table. We already do our best to remove metallic elements from our water sources, so we know that it's not good for us to ingest them or to bathe in them. Just to give you a visual, I use RODI water from my shark pond. I mix this with salt to make the cleanest salt water that I can for my sharks. This filter removes all kinds of elements from the tap water in my home. This is what the media looks like when it needs to be changed. Just so that you see what I'm saying, who knows what that filter has caught, and the lake that was in this week's magnet fishing video is not that far from my house. This is a TDS meter. It tells you how many parts per million, or PPM, are in a source of water. This is straight from the tap. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. Solids can mean plastic, metals, etc. If you are now inspired to go magnet fishing, or even just to clean up any local body of water, let me know by leaving a like or comment below. And thank you in advance for those of you who do.